Hey guys, I am Christina. This is the first video that you're watching of me. I am the owner and founder of Curvy Girls. For all of my old subscribers, big up yourself and welcome back. So as you guys saw, my last video was basically speaking about the BBL um, epidemic. You know, basically set our piece on that, so now we're moving on. So I basically had my team come up with questions that, you know, you guys might ask frequently or for new people who have never purchased from us and you guys might have questions. Um, they basically did like some questions and I wanted to, you know, show you guys, not only explain but to also show you guys, you know, um, exactly what to do and when to do it. So today I'm basically going to take my um, mannequin here. I most likely will test out some stuff on my body, but we're going to take the mannequin here. So one of the first questions they asked is how to put on your faha. I know everybody body type is completely different. I know some people are surgical and non-surgical, but guys, it's very simple to put the faha on. However, there's a specific way to do it. Nine out of 10, when you get your faha from us, you're gonna say, oh my God, this is not going to fit. You know, they run off with my money, you know, da 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 da, which we will never do that, like ever. If you ever have any questions or concerns after getting your purchase, please reach out to customer service. Um, as long as it's in our policy where we say, okay, if that happened, it's our fault, 100% we'll do a remake for you, free of cost. I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, have dealt with us and have gotten your remake. Um, again, we do advise you guys to make sure that you're putting your exact measurements because if you don't put your exact measurement and you put like, for example, your waist to say a 30 and you put say a 25 and you ask for extreme snatch, we definitely move the measurements around so by the time you get that product of course it's not going to fit you and i get it you know you guys are probably used to using fahas that is soft that doesn't really do a lot and probably be used to wearing two shaper in order to get any form of result but guys you see my body i love the way how i look and that's literally what my brand represents so listen if we tell her to put the exact measurement put the exact measurement i know sometimes um you might be putting the measurement and then you see that you need to enter um, a picture, take a picture of your measurements or something like that. Just go ahead when you have the tape measure around your stomach or wherever on your body you have it, just take a picture of it. We ask for that as proof to make sure that that is your correct measurement that you are entering. So okay, we're going to go right into it. I'm going to pull up this mannequin behind me. I have a list of um, our products. We do have some new arrivals. Today I'm trying to knock out as much videos as possible, so definitely going to the same face and makeup I might switch clothes depending. Um, so this mannequin is not our body type per se, or not my body type per se, um, but I, you know, I think we can still, you know, work with it. Okay, so should we see it now good? I have my phone here, so you can see. Okay. And this one doesn't really go down all the way with the leg, but yeah, perfect, right? Can see us? Awesome. So what I'm going to do is just pull, um, say, a St. Azar's um, Faha um, from the um, from our line up here. There's like so much awesomeness on this rack. I'm, I don't even know what which one to pull. Um, all right, so let's pull, let's pull, say, this red one. Now guys, of course, this is not going to look the exact way on the mannequin because of course the body type is different. This is actually my measurements in um, my, all the fahas that I have here. But of course, you know, they come with the four rows. If you guys are able to see, yeah, the four rows. Well, it's going to look like one now, but you have to open it up to see the four rows. So all the fahas comes with the four, four row extender. And of course, you are 100% free to go in. And like, for example, if it's really tight, especially if you have the extreme snatch, um, but you still want to keep it um, tight, you could just get the extender, which is another four rows, and basically just add it um, to your faha. So what happened, I tell you, know, you guys, is that there's a soft section here in, in the middle of the faha. So this is going to be pointed, but then there's going to be a smooth section. This always has to be in your center of your thigh, hidden. Okay? Always have to be in the center of your thighs, hidden. This part, you're going to look weird at first, but this is the flap. that you can basically use to cover your JJ um, after you're done doing a number one or number two. All right? 
Now the legs, they won't roll because we do have the silicone. And the leg, if, if you feel like it is rolling, make sure that your silicone is laid properly because if there's even a little part that is flipped, it is definitely going to roll because it's not sealed. So the main thing is about sealing here, all right? Okay, so what I you know tell people to do, again guys, this is going to be, um, it's definitely going to look easy because, um, you know what, let me put it on myself, if that's the case. I don't think that um, this, you know, Faha um, mannequin would be our best dress. So let's put it on myself. So right now I do have on the Chrissy Faha, um, which of course is the latex. One of the videos that I'm going to do is basically like all of my latex um, product. I'm going to do like um, a video showing that part. So, getting out of the dress. Okay, boobs not coming out. Pushing the boobie. Okay, so that's this is me with my Chrissy Faha. It does have the latex in it and all of that stuff. Just so I say, you know, make sure that the thighs always set how it's supposed to set. And guys, this is like my beaten up Faha to show how much time I wear it because listen, of course, wear my product. Um, something that I was on. Okay, so we're going to get into it. So what we're going to do is put our legs in the faha. And this works, this is how it goes for all of the fahas. Put a leg in, put another leg in. All right, let me go back as far as possible. And then we're going to pull it up, right? So as you can see, there's like a little bit of say, um, you know, pull or something, and then we're going to put it over our butt, right? So when you get your faha, of course, you're going to be like, oh my god, this faha doesn't fit, and of course, I gave the full measurement, the right measurements, and all of that stuff, right? Remember what I told you guys about the thigh? So you can see, the soft part is here, right? So, even though like in the box it does come with the instructions, but Let's break it up. Okay. Then we basically say this is what's gonna happen next. They're gonna try to put it on here, and then they're gonna try to put it on here. And they're gonna be like, oh my god, it doesn't fit. Jesus, and then let's look at the butt. Yeah, they're gonna be like, oh my god, even the butt, like this is crazy. Let me come up closer. It doesn't even fit in the butt and all of that stuff. Like, I need my money back. It's the first thing, right? We could do one or two. I could take the shoulder back off or I could keep the shoulders on. That's up to you, right? The only thing you have to do, guys, the only thing. All right, before I go there, you always have to make sure that this side here with this hook is meeting this hook, right? So again, you get it, understandably, understandable if you don't know about our products you're going to think it doesn't fit but again we do have the instruction in the box all right but okay so you skip over it you still don't understand all right the only thing you have to do is grab right here the soft part and turn it and even if the fabric sounds don't hold on to the lace if you hold on to the lace 100 percent nine out of ten you're going not do 100 percent nine out of ten you're going to rip it off because you need to understand that lace is very delicate so don't hold on to the lace part right when you're turning it, hold the soft part and hold the side on the other side and turn it. And turn it until you see the soft part going in the middle. And of course, turn here. You can adjust the thigh as needed, right? So now what you realize happening is that now this row that used to be over here is now here, lined up in the middle. That's where you want it, right? Okay. And then if you look on this butt, you can see that this side, this butt, is kind of coming in a little bit more. And you can see that this one, still low, right? But okay, we're still going to go. So what we just did to this leg, even if you don't get to line this up properly, first time, go to this leg and adjust, right? Okay, so we're going to go again, go from this side to the inside, and we're going to turn, turn. If you hear the fabric, remember, it's just adjusting. Up here, not going to rip. Just don't hold on on the lace. And then turn, right? Okay. And adjust as needed. So now, this one was all over here, 
is now over here, right? Okay. And then you can adjust up the butt part and your butt so it falls beneath your butt and above the butt, right? But again, we haven't started pinning, so don't have to watch the butt, just here so first, right? Awesome. Now, the first thing that people do when we get to that section is that they go like this. Oh my God, it still can't fit. The product wasn't designed to work like that. It's designed to start pinning from the bottom. So what you're going to do is grab here, you can give it stretch to pull it, and you can give this size stretch to pull it, to open up the power net. And then what you're going to do is start from the bottom, the first hook, All right? Now remember that I said, even if this part isn't completely hidden, the thing is, once you get the first hook in and you start going, then you can adjust here better, all right? Now, we have the first hook in, this is flat, this is a flat. I get it, like when you're kind of like um, irritated with one thing, even though things are coming together now, you're gonna see something like, oh my God, so this is like me stepping, no. What happened is that for me, I didn't wear any underwear when I did my surgery. So what I did um, with this one is that, okay, just in case you're not going to wear any underwear, you can use this rail number one and two, and then push it inside, to the side. Now again, you can do it now, or you can do it after you finish button up. It's 100% up to you. No. We have the first one, and now uh, you go like this again, not going fit, right? Okay, just half fit and just keep going. Let's keep going. And then, if you feel winded, feel hot, stuff like that, you're free to take a breather, you're free to um, stand beneath a AC vent also, and you just keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now remember, Anna, remember when we were, when these weren't buttoned up, we couldn't even put here together, right? But it's like, it's like almost a zip, like it's going to go like this and the, 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 the product is literally going to close, okay? All right. No, whatever you need to do, because I do have Anna full for her under this and all of that stuff. So whatever you personally need to do now, which is meaning, if I am wearing like a topless, not a topless, like a deep cleavage, as you can see with the black for her that I have on, I did bend inside. But if you're going like um, with a t-shirt or whatever you have on and you don't need any cleavage and you actually want to cover it, then we can basically like keep going. And you're free to go on whichever rule works for you. Meaning, if you wanted to go over to the last row over here, that's fine. The middle row, that's fine. The first row, that's fine. Wherever you feel most supported. Okay. And that's how you get into the Saint Azar Faha. Didn't call the minutes or anything like that because I was doing the tutorial. Remember, I do have an Faha beneath this and all. And as you can see, the butts and everything, no, phenomenal. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have any questions or anything like that or any other videos that you would like for me to basically do, no problem, I could go ahead and do a video. Now, the next question that is on the list is how to clean your faha. Now, remember guys, this is an underwear. The same way if you wear like a panty or a bra every single day, all day you know eventually it's going to get wear and tear right okay awesome this is power knit fabric right and then not only that the lace on the leg and all it is extremely delicate so we do advise oh my god i just realized i have on too far huh? so excuse me we do we do advise that you guys wash the faha with um your hand whatever detergent that you want to use just regular soap you wash it with your hand and put it on a hanger and dry it that way because you don't want to put heat on it because the heat is going to break down like the um the lace and all of that stuff is going to mess it up and all i know a lot of time people do put it in the washer which, which in the tag it does tell you um basically say hand wash only 
and I know a lot of people they do put it in there and then they come and say hey you know the lace came off and I didn't put it in there but then you can literally see that the the balls the lint balls the lint balls and all of that stuff on the fall so I know guys hand wash it I totally get it if you probably had to run out and you want to have on your faha. If that's the case, guys, use and um, take advantage of our bundle or recovery box section where you can get multiple faha because you don't want to damage your faha, especially if you are in love with the results that it's giving you and all like. Make sure you're hand washing it and hand drying it. Um, the tips on how to put on um, the faha. Um, again, I just did a full video showing um how to you know put it on it's not that it's hard it's just that you know there's a certain way to put it on if the legs isn't turned correctly there's no way it's going to fit or anything like that and of course you know we don't want to mess up anybody's curve you know we're no compression to the butt or to the hip but of course we're snatching the waistline the next thing that people were basically asking about also um which i think i'm gonna do a video with that one um separate but the next thing is um, the meaning of stages. So if you're a person who is non-surgical, meaning you have had surgery done, you know, probably say over three months ago, you are postpartum, you're just, um, you have no interest in doing surgery or anything like that. Um, for you guys, the stage will mean how tight do you want it, right? Um, so stage one, you know, minimum, so you want a little, you know, you don't want a tiny, so you just want something probably for smoothing. Um, the second stage is that you want a snatch, you know, but not too extreme. But then the extreme snatch is like break neck, break it. Um, so that's really the stages with that way. But if you are a person who is surgical and all, uh, like of course, the stage one is the one that you come out of surgery with. I totally get it. Your doctor, a lot of people say, oh, my doctor gives me a faha. But guys, I'm not telling you to buy anything from me, not pressuring or anything like that. But understand that is the person downstairs, depending on where, what office you go to, is just gonna hand you a five extra L faha. When you swell, you gotta think of it like, okay, um, if I put um, water into this and I freeze it, like when I'm throwing out the ice, it's gonna have this shape. And if I put water into this and freeze it, when I'm taking out the ice, it's gonna have this shape. So if you're most moldable right after surgery and you're in something that is straight, now that the time, when you take off your face for the first time, you're going to look like, um, you know, the straight shape. And a lot of people go into, de into depression because of that. A lot of doctors tell them like, oh yeah, you know, just give it six months or give it that, or if anything, I do a revision. But not everybody have the time or the patience, or not even want to go back through that and all, you know, to get the results that they desire. Also, with the big fahas and all, you know, you're not getting much compression in the stomach because if the faha fits your hips, you know, how it's supposed to fit it, that means it's not doing anything for your waist because your waist is always going to be smaller than your hips, especially um, when you basically went and got um, surgery. So now what happened is that the fluid isn't, you know, being pressured out. And I get it, a lot of people say, oh yeah, that's what the massage is for. But if you talk to a lot of these people, they'll tell you that they ended up with fibrosis, serum, and all of that. And they were getting their massages. If you follow me on Instagram or follow the business page, you'd realize that when I show my stomach, my stomach is literally like no lumps, no bumps, no, none of that. You know, I have my <laughs> incision scars, but definitely not um, any of that. So... Um, the stage one is right out of surgery after two weeks. Um, you can definitely go into the stage two and you basically can wear that one. You know, definitely you might have to go down because it is going to be snatching your waist. So you can always, um, if it's the same Azars and you have a tailor that you do trust, you could get it taken in. The waist erase of Faha, however, you can take it in because it does have latex in it. If you do have allergies with latex, definitely skip over anything that has the disclaimer because I make sure that it's on everything that we provide that if you have latex allergy, you know, get um, a different product that doesn't have latex. Um, so yeah, so you can finish off with either the stage three, um, St. Azar or go into the waist eraser to finish out depending on what, you know, snatch that you want. So a lot of people ask if our products are just for surgical clients and all. The crazy thing is that a lot of our clients that we do post, it is a mix. So we have some people who are surgical, some is that that's not surgical. I did my BB a literally six years ago, guys, like six years and some ago, right? But for me, I still believe in shapewear because sometimes I might be bloated. Sometimes I just want a little snatch. Like I want to look way much more snatch. And I think, you know, this is like the best business I could possibly own because I, I love it. Of course, I love uh, my business, but I the product works for me in my life. And that's why any product that I basically come up with is a reflection of what I wanted for myself. 
So 100% our products can be used for both surgical and non-surgical purposes. We do ask that question on the drop down. That's the reason why we don't get, let you guys just add it to cart and that is it. No, we ask questions so that way we get to know, um, you know, like you, what exactly you're looking for, where um, are you surgical or non-surgical, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, like anybody could use our product. Um, and this is basically like our new color. I'm gonna do like a separate video on this, so don't worry about it just in case you guys are wondering because I'm sure you haven't seen anyone on my page with this because I haven't launched it yet. I think today is Wednesday, so by Friday this new color should be launched. It's like a whole line um, of it and I do have another color. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this um, video was extremely beneficial to you so you can understand our product more. If you're in the Miami location, please walk into our store so that way you can get to know our product a little bit more. Also, guys, if you see our mobile van, which I'm going to do a video, and then I'm actually going to go there and give you a tour, we will now be offering mobile delivery to the Miami area. So yes, we're actually pulling up with our sprinter van which has products inside of it or if you're staying at a recovery house a hotel or even on a layover in miami guys you can literally go to our mobile app section our mobile service section on our website or if you see the van just scan the qr code on the back you'll then be transferred to speak with one of our experts who handles our mobile delivery and we will be to you literally the same day the same day so anyways guys, I'm super excited about this. I'm going to do a video going into that a little bit more. But thank you so much for your likes, your subscription, you know, your follow, your comments, you know, your recommendation, telling everybody about us. We truly, truly appreciate it here from Curvy Girls. Like, thanks again guys and have yourself a fabulous day.